Hey everyone, I wanted to show you a video of how you can use Ocean.io in order to find lookalike companies that uh, you have sold to in the past. Uh, so my name is Eric Noslowski. I run a cold email agency where we send about a million emails a month. And uh, one of our customers came to us and they said, hey, this customer is amazing for us. We want more customers like this. It's going super well. We know we can have repeat results for them. It's amazing. And uh, whenever that happens, we use Ocean.io in order to build a lookalike list of all of the companies that look like that so that we can, you know, very easily target them. So in this situation, uh, we're going to be doing a seafood delivery company, which is a perfect example of where lookalike audiences are the best. Uh, if you are trying to build a list of like banks, super easy to get that on Sales Navigator and Apollo and things like that. But when you're, like I said, looking for seafood delivery companies or food delivery companies or food direct to consumer companies, there's no filter that you can just go to on Apollo that's going to have that. So that's why Ocean's Look Like Builder is the best for us. So what we're going to first do is we're going to enter our domain. And so the domain we're going to enter is the uh, company that they had really great results for, which is called getmelobster.com. And then we're just going to make sure that we get that. So the only company they gave me was getmainlobster.com. So what we're going to do is we're going to look through all of these. Oh, they gave me another one actually as well. Butcher box as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to look through all of these. So the thread that is holding butcher box and get me and lobster together isn't necessarily that they're selling steak and one is selling seafood. And it's not really that they're food delivery. It's really about like food direct to consumer. So now what we can do is we can use Ocean's lookalike targeting to not only build this list, but we can keep refining this list as well. And so we can go through and it's like, well, Steak King isn't gonna be a good fit because they're in Hong Kong, but and we'll use our filters for that afterwards. So we can look at this. And this one looks really good. Lobster craft. This is a good one. So we'll go lobstercraft.com. And hopefully this will expand our results and make it even better. So we're at 1320 right now. Let's see what we get in. 1017. That's great because we got it even more refined. What I'm seeing is I'm seeing a lot of seafood companies. And so I want to find some more companies that are like butcher box. So I'm just going to do a quick Google search and just say, and I know you can't see my screen right now, but I'm just going to look for meat delivery box. Sure. All right. Goodchop.com is one that we'll go for. Goodchop.com. And then let's do omahasteaks.com, omahasteaks.com. And now we've kind of hit that five company search part where three to five companies is really what we want to use in order to, to get a good list. So we have three to five companies. If any of them are throwing us off the trail of really good targets, we're just going to delete them. So we're just going to look at all of these and we're going to look at their industry tags. We got 2,880 companies at this point. So what we don't want is we don't want the actual restaurant, right? And so there's a couple of ways that we can think about this, right? Um, what we could do is so when we look at Get Main Lobster, they've got one to 10 employees, not a great fit. 51 to 200. Wow, they're all over the place here. So what I was going to say is uh, we could probably look at their web traffic and filter a little bit by web traffic because you see how this restaurant has like 5,000 uh, web traffic results here. So what we could do is we could go to the filters. And so first we're going to do a company location and we're going to say the United States and let's see what that does for us. So we went from 2,880 to 1,888. That's awesome. And now we'll look at not website technologies. Let's look at web traffic. And I want, let's do, let's start at 10,000. And I don't really have a cap, but I just wanted to get rid of those smaller companies. Okay. So 5,000, see, we're still getting restaurants. Okay. So the fact that we're still getting restaurants, let's open up one of these and look at the industry tags. 
food and beverage restaurants. So we don't want restaurant. So let's actually take out the visitors because that can be extremely uh, inaccurate. And that's not Ocean's fault. Uh, similar web data has this. Um, SAMrush has data like this. And even those, they, like their whole company is based off of web traffic and it's not accurate. So like I never blame the providers for the website traffic. So what we'll do is I don't want restaurants in here because restaurants is actually what's throwing us off. So we're going to exclude restaurants, 1888. And where does that get us now? 336. But see, these are all way, way better examples of these companies. Yeah, where they're doing this fast moving consumer goods, food and beverage. Yeah, this is looking way better. So now what we can do. Oh, yeah, Sizzlefish is good, too. Um, they told me Sizzlefish was good. I forgot about that. So now what we've done is we've built a list of lookalike companies that match what our customers have had success with. And now we can reach out to these companies and we can tell the story of what we did to get mainlobster.com. But we can say it to all of these people. But because all of these people are so niche and so similar to getmainlobster.com, we can speak into uh, the services and the value that my customers have provided um, in the emails that we're going to send. So this is a great list. We're going to export it from Ocean and we'd be all set. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Their lookalike targeting is really great. We'll start seeing some more videos with Ocean as we just recently got access. And um, I think their lookalike filter makes things so easy to target. So uh, that's the first video and have a great day from there.